Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 42 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we're going to go get a little jungle love. Because it's driving me mad, it's making me crazy. And we're going to go find ourselves a jungle. This, my friends, is Minecraft version 1.2. 1.2 came out just a few days ago. And it introduces a whole bunch of new stuff. Now, I've already had this discussion with Sam and Sammy, and Sam's decided to give me the, the, the cold shoulder. Yes, I know. We're going to head over to the jungle, and out there in the wide world, there's a new jungle biome just waiting for us to go and mess around with the new stuff, and one of them being a cat. Of course, the cat is not tamed. We have to tame it. It's actually an ocelot. And uh, the ocelot is a wild beast passive mob living in the jungle, and we can tame it with Fitch. And it becomes a tame domestic kitty cat. And we're going to bring a cat back here. And our dogs are going to have a new friend. No, you can't eat the cat, Sammy. Because I said so. So I think I'll get four fish. And there we go. Four fish. And now we need a boat. Now, listen. We'll discuss it later, okay? Now, cats are pretty cool. And, um... I'll discuss more about the cat when we get the cat, but let's make a boat. My other boat's way out in the water. There we go. I think we're ready for this journey. Now, I have already um, converted this map to 1.2. So, there, if you don't do that, if you're still running an older version, your map will not spawn. No, you can't go in there, you little creep. Um, it will not create jungle biomes, but since this has been converted to the new Anvil map format, all I have to do is walk somewhere where uh, I don't have any map generated so far in this world, and there's a, there's a chance that the world will generate a, uh, a jungle biome for me. Now, I have done this with a backup world because I didn't want to go off searching around um, in the entire episode. So I do know there is a jungle biome that will be generated when I walk over in this direction. I place down a boat and I follow this river. And this direction, I think it was. <laughs> I guess I should have uh, I should have taken a note. So here we go. I'm going to put this down. And if you are following along, then uh, this is what you want to do. Just go right behind Cozy Cottage. Put your boat right here. And we're going to follow along this river. And it will lead to a jungle biome. Now, it's, it's not that far, but uh, it's a couple of minutes and there's no sense in me doing this um, and chatting the whole way. So I'm going to speed things up right now. Okay, now I wasn't supposed to crash, but that's where we wanted to get off anyway. And oh, wow, look at this ravine. I had no idea that was there. Um, so you want to crash over there, it's, and then when you see the snow biome, that's when you want to get off your boat and then kind of walk over this way. Oh, hi, guys. What are these? And oh, oh, there we can see it in the distance there. That top of that tree right there, that's jungle. Jungle love, it's driving me mad. It's making me crazy. Dun, dun. And we're just going to head over there and uh, hopefully we'll find ourselves a little ocelot. There's a bunch of things here in the jungle that um, it's new that we can collect and do some fun stuff with. One of them being vines, obviously the cat. And there's a whole new tree. that you can see right there in the distance. Whoa, and they're extremely tall. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome. Now, this is interesting. We have a, oh, wow, another <laughs> ravine right here. Which is cool. So now all we have to do is get up there, and they're pretty tough to navigate. This right here is a jungle tree. That would... I'm just trying to get up top here. Take a gander. Now you can climb the vines. They work just like ladders. 
All right, all right, come on. I just want to get right into the deep jungle here. There we go. Okay, up, 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 up. Now these trees just go on and on and up and up. And as you can see, there's a different leaf here. And I'm going to take my shears. And you can... Okay, it's not a right click. It's actually a left, like you're attacking it. And as you can see, the, the vines are coming off now. And I have vines. And vines are actually... You can place them down. Like that. And you can climb them. Just like a ladder. And they will grow on their own, actually. So, I'm going to bring some of these back. A silly chip. Bring some of these back with us. Back to Cozy Cottage or uh, somewhere around there. And we'll... We'll utilize these around the house and make things look kind of cool. We'll get some some vines growing. I'm going to share you. All right. Here we are. The jungle. Welcome to the jungle, baby. We got fun and games. We learn to live like an animal. All right. So no more singing. I'm sorry. Okay. Now we have to keep our eyes open for an ocelot. Now let's get the fish in the hand. Now you have to be... Very quiet and very slow around ocelots. They're very shy, those little creatures. But if you have fish in your hand, they will come up to you. But you don't want to do any quick, sudden movements. Even looking around can set them running. They're one of the few animals in the game that can actually sprint like you can. And they'll bolt. The second they think that uh, you're up to some kind of no good. <laughs> Now notice these trees. This is actually four trees together to make one. And I'm going to grab some of this and I'll show you the different... Whoa. Was that bones? Did I hear bones? Let me show you some of these trees. It's got a different texture to it. And these will also drop different saplings as well. So that we can, we can grow our own jungles. And there's ferns here too. And you can get those with your shears. I think you need shears for ferns. Let's try it with... Oh, here we go. Here's a skeleton down there. I still don't see an ocelot. They're slinky little kitties. And the moment you tame them, they turn into a domestic house cat. <laughs> Kitty, 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 kitty. All right, let's try taking a fern without the shears. Okay, as I had suspected, you do need the shears to get the ferns. I'm going to take some ferns back home with me. I'm going to put in it. I'm going to make a little potted fern plant at Cozy Cottage. Okay. Shh. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Let me try to get up high and look around. Awfully quiet in the jungle. Fortunately, there's no hostile beasties in the jungle. Well, with the exception of hostile beasties that you can find anywhere else. <laughs> but that's typically only night. All right. Now, I may have to make a shelter here for the evening and look around in the day for this ocelot. But they really are very nice to look at. I love the new jungle biome. Oh, okay. Fortunately, that <laughs> vine caught me on the way down. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to cut out right here. I'm going to find an ocelot and turn the camera back on. And I'll show you how to tame these little buggers. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Shh. Right behind this leaf. There he is. Oh, oh we got the sapling too. Jungle tree sap. Okay, nice and slow. I'm going to crouch down here and go nice and slow with the fish in my hand. Hey, little guy. Looks like he might even be stuck. This could work out well. Oh, hi. Hi. Now, you can't just right-click on him like mad. If he doesn't come toward you, it's not going to work. You just hold it out. Come here, buddy. I'll just sit right here and kind of entice him with it. Hey, bud. He has to come to you like that. There he goes. He slinks forward. Come on. Come on. 
And if he's sprinting away like that, it's not going to work. You've got to wait till he is ready. He or she. Okay. Come on, little guy. Bing. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh that was close. And hey, what do we have here? We have a tabby cat with green eyes. Hi. Meow to you, too, tabby cat. So there are three types of cats that you may get. Tabby, I think, is one of the more common. There's a Siamese, which I think is pretty rare, and then a, a black and white tuxedo cat. Hey, bud. You want to come home? Live in Cozy Cottage? I do. Well, I warn you. I have a pair of dogs. I know. Don't worry. I've threatened them. They should leave you alone. So this guy needs a name. And your orange. Orange peel. No, I didn't think so. How about uh, juice? No, not juice. <laughs> okay. You follow me. And I will think up of a name, something orangey. And now we just have to get home. So let's talk about the cats. These guys are cool. They will follow you like a dog. Although they are a little bit more independent than the dog. Um, which way is home, cat? <laughs> I seem to have forgotten the home. I should have put up beacons. And I think it's in this direction. So let's go. Oh, we'll let you. Good. Cats are a little bit buggy, so you have to kind of be careful that they don't get stuck on things. There's a dumb chicken. Let's just get out of this jungle. What do you say? So they'll follow you along. They'll follow you like a like a dog will. You can make them sit and stay. But what's really awesome about the cats? Well, a couple of things really. Uh, number one is that, well, there's three things I should say. <laughs> three things. First of all, they they don't like chickens. And they will attack chickens. Sometimes. Maybe not every time. There's one. Get him. Get him, guy. Get him. Get the chicken. You not why do you, why would you why would you pick the one that's stuck in a tree when there's many more? There you go. Get him. Come on, cat. Attack. Yeah, there you go. No? Alright, well, they sometimes attack chickens. So that's one of the uh, really great bonuses to having one of these guys around. Number two is that creepers are afraid of cats. If you have a cat and you have a, a you put him in your house or if you wander around outside or so and a creeper comes a knocking, they see that cat and they will avoid the cat. So if you have one around you, then uh, they'll keep you relatively creeper free. Okay, this is a river, and there's a cow, and I just have to find home. And then the other big one that cats, um, another feature of kitties is that they don't take fall damage. So I suppose that is in line with their, the whole cats uh, always land on their feet thing. Right? True? Which means that you can bring these guys down underground. And you go underground exploring uh, ravines and crevasses and caves and dungeons. You can bring a cat with you to keep the creepers at bay. <laughs> because they don't fall. Unlike dogs. Dogs will fall and take fall damage. And that's no fun. Not so with cats. You can also breed them if you have a pair of cats. And I'm going to have to get uh, up high here to figure out where the devil I am. I got kind of lost looking for this thing. And wow, I know I need to find a snow biome. Hello, snow biome. And that's the way home. All right, we'll stay here for the night. Um, and I'm going to name you. And you know what? I just had a thought. You're orange. You know that orange drink? Tang. Come on, Tang. Up here, Tang. You're Tang. Today and forever, forevermore, you will be known as Tang. Tang, sit. If I had, you know what? I'm going to fish through the night. I'm going to get another cat and then we can do a breeding tutorial. We'll get kitties. Oh, Sam and Sam are going to love that. Let me tell you. Yes. We're going to spend the night here. Okay, Tang. And then we'll, uh, we'll head out in the morning and get back home. So what else do we know about cats? 
They kill chickens. They don't take fall damage. They follow you around. Uh, and they scare creepers away. And they can be bred. So they make a nice little home defense. If you just want to put one around your perimeter or in the house to keep the creepers away. Well, not in the house, but you know what I mean. All right, kitty cat. Um, and I don't... I'm not sure about healing these guys. I don't think they take damage like a uh, like a dog, and maybe they do. I'll have to check the wiki on that. Um, I don't have any fish to feed this little fella. All right, hold on, Tang. Hang on, let me just let me just check that wiki very quickly. Hang on. All right, well, there's nothing in the wiki about cats um, being able to be healed. They do have 10 hits, or rather 5 hearts, so I'm, I'm, my guess is that they can be killed. They don't attack mobs to defend you like dogs do. So, um, Sam and Sambo would be happy about that, won't they? But they do, they are able to open wooden doors, according to the wiki, which we'll have to try that back at home. As long as you close the door behind you, I won't mind so much. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to work my way back to, uh, back to Cozy Cottage. And uh, we'll pick up from there, we'll bring the cat home, we'll introduce him to the dogs, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and I have caught a couple of fish. I wanted to show you, uh, what, you what happens when you give fish to cats, and they get hearts. That means they're going into love mode. Dude, you're still in there? I <laughs> think he's been there since day one. Now, somebody's kicking down a door. That's another feature of version 1.2. Zombies can kick down wooden doors now, so we're going to have to make some adjustments to our map. But unfortunately, uh, Tang doesn't have a friend to um, to mate with. So I'm going to have to go back and get another cat. Hold on one sec. Somebody's knocking on my door. What are you doing inside Heidi Hole? <laughs> Let me out of here. Don't bust down my door, man. Okay, so he was inside Heidi Hole. That's great. All right, um, Tang, come on. Come on, kitty. Let's go say hi to Sam and Sammy. Oh, purrs and all. Oh, by the way, I'm away back, and I saw a little baby ocelot. They're cute little buggers. Come on and say hi. Oh, he's like, oh, I don't want to go in there. <laughs> and they're like, Grr. You want to go say hi, guys? Go ahead. Come on. Give him a nice, warm welcome. Oh, that's good, Sammy. Good boy. Good girl. All right. We're friends. We're all friends, right? Now, can you open that door? You can stick your head in it. That's clear. These doors need to be changed after the 1.2 update. They, uh, they're on the, the hinges improperly. So, <laughs> Can you open doors? Uh, let's see. Are, are cats really smarter than dogs? Come on. <laughs> they can both peer through the door. Come on. Who's going to open it? Open it. Ca oh, you are smart. You just decided I'm not even going to bother wasting the energy or even lifting a paw. I'm just going to teleport to you. I'm smart. All right, you guard. Keep the creepers away. Night's probably on the way here. Guys, all right, come on in. I know you want to play. I'll fix these doors. I can fix these doors right now. I just have to break them down and put them back up again. But, yeah, we're going to have to make adjustments because um, zombies can kick them down now. So they cannot kick down iron doors. We're going to make. We're going to turn these into iron doors. There we go. Much better. And kitty going for a swim. Don't drown. If you get stuck under there, you will drown. I didn't know cats like water. It's Sammy! Yeah, uh, there's a couple of bugs here, too. One of them, when animals get on fences, they kind of spin around in circles. You want to come out? Well, I guess that's it for cats and ocelots. And uh, we came back with one jungle sapling. That's enough, I guess. I can get more from that. We've got some vines. Uh, we have jungle leaves, we've got ferns, and um, I may do a little decorating inside. I'm going to make a little fern, fern plant. In fact, it's getting late, guys. I'm heading indoors. Sun's going down. Come on in. Come on in. Tang. Where'd Tang go? Oh, no. No, Tang. No, Tang, Tang, get out. Tang just <laughs> Okay, Tang number one is dead. As you can see, they do have health and they can die. I really have to do something with that lip down there. I should probably fill that in. It looks cruddy, but... All right, well, I guess I'm going to go back to the jungle and get a new Tang. Uh, let's just pretend 
that uh, that didn't happen. Okay. All right. I salute and goodbye, Sam. I'm trying to say goodbye. I'll see you all in the next episode. And if you enjoyed this, if I helped you in any way, I would appreciate a like. It helps my channel. And Sam, that's embarrassing. You really shouldn't do that. Go sniff your friend. You go sniff your sister. Okay. And uh, I'm going to say goodbye inside. Dogs can't bother me here. All right. Goodbye. I'll see you next episode. Take care.